The mission for today was finding out how good the new MacBook 2018 i9 actually is for producing music. I run a whole lot of tests the entire day, made an entire video, sat down here in the office to do some music, business and label stuff and found out that Apple released an update. An update that fixes all of the thermal throttling issues that this i9 has. And now I have to do all of the, <laughs> the tests again for this video. It just didn't feel right to release a video with the old firmware. So um, yeah, all of the tests again. Let me just install that update and then do the testing again. I pick my heart up off the floor, I never love you again. The main reason I'm doing this test is because I just bought this two days ago and I was kind of disappointed for the price. The difference to my old MacBook late 2013, which is extremely old in laptop years. This was back then the fully maxed out version. The difference wasn't that big comparing Final Cut rendering one of my videos. In HD, the difference didn't really exist. This was before the update, later again, but I want to focus in this video on music, especially Logic Pro X, because most videos online just compare the specs of these for Final Cut and all other video editing programs. I haven't seen one that specifically concentrates onto Logic, so is the 2018 MacBook something for a music producer? Is it worth the upgrade? First test will be a simple one, the same song, I just migrated one computer to the other, so the song is exactly the same, the same version of Logic. I will bounce it out once on the old Mac and on the new Mac and just compare it. I mean, bouncing speeds, random speeds and music are not that important because they're usually not that long and you don't bounce out your songs that often. I mean, yes, you make version one, two, three, A, B, C, final mix, one, two, and it goes on and on and on. All music producers know that, but usually you just work within logic until it's finished, bounce it out for mastering, and that's it. But still, let's compare them. I would have waited thousands of years for you to fall. I ran this test multiple times and yeah, I'm a lot happier than uh, this morning where I already did the test without the update. So the update is really helping and I'm a lot happier than the first day where I tested it. So we have you roughly 30% faster bouncing out of Logic projects. That's nice, I'll take it. But as I said, the bouncing, not that important. What we music producers hate absolutely the most is system overload when you make music, you play music, and it just stops. And with the old machine, it stopped a lot, especially using Diva in Divine Mode. Yes, of course, that's stupid, but also Serum, multiple instances of Serum, layering multiple synth sound wasn't just possible. Maybe two, three, and that was then basically it. So let's do the ultimate Logic Pro X stress test. I will just load up a bunch of Diva and Serum with random midis, just a whole lot of stuff playing at the same time. Yeah, Serum is a powerful tool that draws a lot of CPU, both MacBooks screaming, the, the old one definitely extremely warm and the fans are spinning. Yeah, there's something in the fan, I know. Eight instances of Serum playing chords and I got the system overload. That's pretty good for a machine from 2013, a mobile machine. So I'm really proud of my old buddy. The new one is warm, but, but not hot, not screaming hot. And in the defense of both machines, today is an extremely, extremely, extremely warm day in Germany. 32 degrees, that's like record. And just to clarify, of course, both machines running with the same settings, the same buffer size, everything is exactly the same as much as possible. Now let's keep continue pushing the new one.
Wow, I am impressed. I mean, we got here 27 instances of serum before the system. Oh, well, well, that's incredible. You will never ever need that many instances of serum in your song. So I see myself using this for the next couple of years, especially since I want a machine that is mobile, so a desktop is no option. If you're just recording in your studio, you do not travel a lot, you do not edit videos on the go, go for a desktop machine. You will save a lot of money, no heat issues, because still this machine doesn't draw all of the possible power of the i9 because it just doesn't have the, the cooling that is necessary. But I'm happy, 27, that's good. And I think I will keep this. Yesterday I thought about not keeping it, but the update really improved it. I did the test earlier and I got to around 19 instances. So yeah, that's quite impressive. The question is, is, is this for you? It really depends. If you're a beginner, don't spend that much money on a computer, just um, spend maybe half of it. That's really enough. At the beginning, you will start with maybe 10 tracks, 20 tracks, and you might not even have that many plugins. So invest the money partially in a computer. It's still probably the most important part of your music production chain besides the room acoustic and maybe the speakers, but it's the thing you will use the most. So get a proper one, get a good one if Mac or PC, that's up for you to decide. Probably people will fight over this in the comments as always. For me, a win is no option. I'm using Final Cut and Logic. I'm using Logic since 10 years, 12 years. So switching to another DAW, I don't even want to deal with that. And yes, this little beast is totally overpriced, but since I'm using it in a professional way, making music and daily videos, and I have a lot of um, customers and now in the future with the new studio, the vocal booth, a lot of singer and songwriters coming here. And I don't want them to come here with their big universal manager and me being like, sorry, we have to redo it. My computer is too slow. Sorry, I need another second. This is not running. That is not running. That's really embarrassing. It's just stealing a lot of time. As you know, time is money. I will, I will keep it. The i9 now with the new update. Definitely a lot, I, not, not, still not really worth it because you still can't use it to full potential, but it's the best Mac, mobile Mac you can get at the moment. So if your computer is from 2013, 2014, 15, the upgrade might be advisable if you work a lot and you have a lot of customers and, and you just need the power and you want to, to work smoothly. But if you're a beginner or if your machine is new, like 2015, 16, 17, then just keep it and, and wait for, for the next MacBook Pro. Because I'm here still waiting for the face ID. I'm still waiting for them to solve the heat issue. The touch bar, really unnecessary. And again, if you're just sitting in the studio and you're not traveling a lot and you're not working a lot with other people in their studio, just go with the desktop, Macs um, or Windows, PCs, uh, whatever you prefer. Again, there's really just one more test I want to try out. That's a specific one for me because as you know, I sometimes do music tutorials here on this channel and I couldn't for the past couple of months because my old computer couldn't handle running Logic, a full Logic project, also running the huge monitor and at the same time recording audio and capturing the screen. It just couldn't handle it for more than a minute. Started screaming, the fans went up, everything was really laggy and, and did stutter, so it couldn't really work. Didn't make a lot of fun, so let's try it again now with this machine. If it can do it, I will keep it 100%. And yeah, by the way, I'm now also part of the dongle family. Oh, Apple. Once so great, now so shitty. I mean, why do they make a computer that can't cool the CPU that they advertise as being so fast? I don't get it. Absolutely don't get it. Why this has to be so thin and nice. Yes, cool, but a Pro Mac should be all about performance. Maybe they will get it right on the next one.
Okay, sound card in use, speakers in use, the monitor in use, the full project that is finished in use, just half of the CPU, even less. The screen is being recorded and also audio hijack is on for the sound recording and it's handling it fine. The lid is even closed, the fans are of course on, but but it's it's running, that's cool. Everything working, that's what I expected from this new MacBook. I wish it was a thousand euros less, then it would be a good and fair deal. At the moment it's totally overpriced as everyone knows, but my only option, I need to keep on working. As long as I can make music, everything is fine. So now ending the video tomorrow, another one here from the studio, hopefully with some new updates, the vocal booth is still uh, under construction. But we're getting closer and also the upstairs Studio A, slowly but steady, it's still, still drying. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the new MacBook Pro and uh, please do not fight too much about Mac versus Windows. I'll never love you again.